On September 6th, an innocent 26-year-old man was shot and killed in his own apartment by a Dallas police officer, and I don't believe that the case is getting enough attention. Botham Jean was home alone in his own home at around 10 p.m. that night when Officer Amber Geiger entered his apartment and killed him. Now, Officer Geiger's story is that after working a long 15-hour shift, she came home to her apartment complex and parked on the wrong level. You see, she lives on level 3, directly below Mr. Jean, and she mistakenly parked up on level 4. She then claims she went into Mr. Jean's apartment believing it to be her own. She says that when she entered, the door was unlocked, and there was a shadowy figure across the room that she believed to be a burglar. She says she then shouted commands that were ignored, and she shot twice, killing Botham John. But witnesses dispute her story. I know we have a hard problem with getting justice in these streets. But damn, can we get justice in our living room? Demands for answers in Dallas are growing louder as contradicting stories emerge over the death of 26-year-old Botham John. A witness who captured this video says it shows off-duty policewoman Amber Geiger distraught and pacing on the balcony of her Dallas apartment complex Thursday night, still in uniform after finishing her shift. Geiger had opened fire around 10 p.m., killing John after saying she mistook his fourth-floor apartment for her own third-floor residence. According to the affidavit, the room was nearly completely dark. Believing she had encountered a burglar across the room in her apartment, Geiger drew her firearm and gave verbal commands that were ignored. We hope to bring understanding and clarity to the family. But John's family attorney says witnesses add more to the story. They both heard a knock or a pounding on the door. The one who was closer to the scene in her bedroom reading a book, uh, she heard uh, pounding followed by a female's voice saying, open up, let me in. She said that was shortly followed by the sound of gunshots and the sound of a man's voice saying what she believed to be, oh my God, why did you do that? Officer Geiger has at this time only been charged with manslaughter and was initially only suspended from her job on the Dallas police force. She has since been fired, but it will be up to the grand jury as to whether the charges against her are upgraded to first degree murder as I believe they should be. I'm not buying Amber's story and neither is Botham John's family. I'm here with Allison John and her lawyer, Lee Merritt. Allison is the mother of Botham John, who was shot in his home by a Dallas police officer. Good morning to you both. Good morning. morning. This first question is for you. Officer Amber Geiger says she accidentally entered your son's apartment, which then led to the fatal shooting after he allegedly ignored her verbal commands. Do you believe Amber entered your son's apartment with the intent to murder him? I think based on a number of articles that I've read that she appears to have entered with the intent to kill him because she was a police officer and based on protocols that police officers ought to have used, she certainly didn't use them. The sequence of events that she outlined in her affidavit does not appear logical because one would, at, would enter the apartment and even if they saw the door ajar, the first inclination would be to turn on the lights that are closest to the doorway. She didn't do that. She gave verbal commands, she said, that were not followed. It showed that he didn't even use any aggression. So the, the fatal shot is just unimaginable. It, it, it does not make sense. So there's no, I have no other choice but to believe that she did it intentionally. Lee, this isn't your first pro high profile case involving a police shooting. How do you choose which cases to take and what made you decide to take this case on? You know, that's an important question and when I get involved, I really look at police officer behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, whether, they were, whether or not they were operating inside or outside of the laws uh, for the use of force. And this case is, is certainly a case that's egregious in terms of the behavior, entering someone else's home, even under, even under the facts that she described. Mm 
if they were to be true, and we, we don't believe them to be true, but even under the facts that she described, she says she, she gave commands to what she's perceived as a silhouette, and when it failed to comply, she resorted to deadly force. There were so many other options at that point. She could have retreated, which she had a responsibility to do, mm -hmm. seeing that she was in, um, she was in uh, his apartment, or she could have um, uh, used some other form of for force. There, there was no justification such as, uh, and then the person came toward me or acted aggressively and I feared for my life. It's, it's just absent from her explanation. And and so, uh, and, and like um, Ms. John has explained, we don't believe that to be the case, but even under her, her, her version of events, the, the, the use of force was unjustified. I believe that it will come out that Amber Geiger had a relationship with Botham Jean. I believe she knew him and murdered him. I'm not buying that she just accidentally went to the wrong floor and entered the wrong apartment by mistake. I'm not buying that she didn't notice any differences in her surroundings on the way to Mr. Jean's apartment. I'm not buying that the door was unlocked. I believe the witnesses that she was knocking loudly and demanding to be let in, and then when she was, she killed Botham Jean intentionally. I also believe if Botham Jean was white and Amber Geiger wasn't a cop, this whole situation would have played out differently. She killed the man in his own apartment, and then police get a search warrant for his apartment, not hers. Then they find a small amount of weed and proceed to attempt to smear the victim's image with it in the media. What the media doesn't sensationalize is that they also found a police vest in his apartment, backing up my claim that Amber Geiger knew Mr. Jean and had been inside his apartment before. But like I said, the media ignores this fact and plays up the small amount of marijuana found in the apartment, which I honestly wouldn't put past the police that planted there in the first place, trying to protect one of their own. But worse still, the media isn't focusing on the story, which I also don't believe would be the case if Amber wasn't a cop and Botham Jean wasn't black. So please share this video to spread awareness of this important unfolding case so it doesn't get swept under the rug and Botham Jean gets justice for his murder.